So what's in this exhibition is there are two video pieces. One's a three screen uh, video installation, the other one's um, on its own, film on the wall. And then there's um, two other rooms. One's the library in which I've been putting some of my uh, devotional collection and in the education room here there's also the devotional collection. It's a collection of CDs, records, a whole range of paraphernalia about um, black women in the British music industry and this has come about through um, lots of people sending me information about performers that they remember, um, performers that they love. So that there's a there's a very large wallpaper piece that's here in the education room, um, which contains 200 names of the performers from going back to the mid 19th century to the present day. Um, so hopefully there'll be a few names that people will recognise. I don't know anybody who knows all the names. I certainly didn't know all the names, and, and it's only through people sending me um, information that I've grown to, to, to know who some of these performers are. And then the other thing that is in the room is a, is a record player and a series of records, all of Shirley Bassey. I'm sure many people will know who Shirley Bassey is and people can come and play records, play her records, and as well as look at some of the other material that um, comprises the, the collection. The film that's in PS1, which is on the ground floor, is a three-screen film um, that was made as a collaboration between myself, uh, 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 Renaissance uh, choral group called Alamire, and a sound artist called Mikhail Karikis. And uh, Mikhail features in the central part of the film, um, performs a very strange set of noises alongside and is accompanied by Alamiri, this, this, this choir. And at first it begins where they sound very, very different, but as it moves towards the end, they sound closer, they sound much more in harmony. <laughs> And then there's a second film that's upstairs um, in PS2, on the second floor, which is a film called Oh Adelaide. And that film uh, is a collaboration, another collaboration between myself and a sound artist and DJ called Ayeen Bailey. And Ayeen actually features in the devotional collection. I've known Ayeen for a long time and I thought, well, maybe I would be interested in doing a sound piece with some of the material that's in the collection. So we met and we uh, fairly quickly decided that we were going to do something about Adelaide Hall, who was a performer who came from the US to London um, in the 1930s. And actually, Adelaide Hall is known as is known as the pioneer of jazz scat, where people were using their voice as an instrument. Um, one thing that I haven't mentioned, which is very important about oh, Adelaide, is that the film footage itself was, I downloaded it from the internet, so it's a very, very small file. Um, and then I started to play with the, with the footage um, in kind of editing um, software. And so there's this bright light, bright white light that um, it obscures, is ever present in the film. And I suppose one, one of the things that happens is that you try to, to find Adelaide Hall. She's centrally in the film, but you're trying to find her through this white light. Um, the, the connection between the two films is this question about scat and um, using language and non-language as a, as a way of expressing something. Um, so both films are very musical and use music and sound. Sometimes they clash, sometimes they're in harmony. And that's the nature of, of the bringing the two films together.